Hi, this is Edwin from Get Notes. In the first part of our Refit uh, Schedule 101, uh, we talk about how you can create a Refit Schedule. In this second part, we are going to talk about Key Schedule. So, when we need to use Key Schedule and why. Uh, in this example, we have uh, different element types for example this is uh, all single plus door and we have a different door style for example for office uh, office door it has door closer it doesn't have door stopper no automatic lock and no kick plate uh, imagine that you need to apply all of this to all of your doors it will take some time uh, and it can be tedious and prone to errors. Let's change, uh, for example, this one is uh, double floss, but this is for the surface area. You can see that the properties is quickly uh, changed. And this one also for office, you can see that all the properties uh, are changed. So, um, of course, you can also uh, select this manually but in this uh, tutorial we are going to talk how you can apply different styles to your element quickly how can we create a key schedule it's the same as creating schedule you go to view tab create panel and go to schedule schedule quantities okay uh, next we need to select the uh, category let's use the door category as we want to create key schedule for doors change this uh, schedule building components to key uh, schedule keys okay the name automatically uh, given as door style schedule and this one is door style we want to create a door style schedule and we do want to create a door style keys so let's just click ok okay you can see that we already have several uh, parameters uh, field available and one uh, parameter is already here in this schedule fields okay uh, none of these parameters uh, uh, are what we want so we need to create new parameter here Let's use uh, project parameter and let's use this one as door closer. Type is common. Type of parameters is yes, no. We want to indicate if it has door closer or not. The group parameter, I'm going to put that under data. Click OK. Let me create another one as door stopper. And this one also yes and no, and this one is also under the data. Another one is kick plate. This one is also yes no, and also under the data. Let's create another one. I'm going to put key. Uh, let's just call it lock type, and this one is text so we can see how it works with text click here data click ok so we have all of these uh, keys for our uh, door key schedule okay, click ok now we already have the door style schedule but it's still empty uh, we need to insert the data row here to define what uh, door style we have in this project okay let's define the first key name the first style is public rest room it needs to have the door closer door stopper and also kick plate for the lock type we just use let's with occupancy indicator 
okay okay for the next one i'm going to add for private restroom it will also has the door closer uh, maybe not door stopper yeah we want to use kick plate also and this one is let's say this one is privacy ball no okay let's add a couple more uh, insert that arrow and this one is for office let's say in the office we need a door closer but we don't need the door stopper we don't need kick plate and this one is need as card access that's another one let's say this one is service door closer uh, door stopper kick plate let's just use uh, that bolt lock okay okay we finished for this um, let's just open the uh, floor plan okay let's say that i want to define this door properties what style it has it use so i select uh, both of them and now we can see under the identity data we have door style and we can select the public restroom and if we explore uh, below this under the data category we can see that the properties also automatically uh, apply okay so let's uh, do this also for this office door let's just select all this i'm going to filter this so i just select doors and i change the style to office okay so that's how you apply uh, the door style to your doors let's uh, explore the door schedule uh, that we created before in the first uh, first part first tutorial video and now we can see that when we edit the fields now we have the new parameter here the door closer the door style and also the kick plate lock type and the other one is door stopper okay just add them here and i can arrange the position the order like this let's put the door style above and click uh, maybe this one okay click okay now we can see that we have all these parameters apply okay you can also as we see before we can also that we can change this to different type uh, from the schedule directly okay that's how you can create key schedule and apply it in your building element schedule see you in the next tutorial